congratulations, guys. Uh, hey, we, I, you know, you put up some big numbers here before, but anything like that, was that just kind of describe what it was like? Because it just seemed like everything was going for you. Yeah, uh, I mean, it felt great. Uh, I can't talk enough about my teammates and our coaches uh, running the plays. I, I mean, we ran our plays uh, with, like, very crisp tonight, and I was getting open, great looks. And they were falling, you know, and so Coach always says, take them with confidence, and that's what I was doing. And then I felt hot, so I kept shooting them, you know. But uh, like I said, we were just running. And I think overall, not just passing to me, but we were finding each other and uh, just moving the ball very well tonight. It seemed like you, you hit a three, got a technical, and they hit the free throws, but then that seemed to kind of spark a run by the, the entire team. Did, did that kind of spark it? Or can you, I mean, you can't uh, tell me what happened with I'm the not, technical? I'm not, uh, I was just talking a little bit too much out there. I was having fun being competitive, and uh, the refs had told me to stop before, but I mean, I was having fun out there, and so I got the technical, but uh, I don't think that sparked us. I think in the timeouts, we really came together as a team, and it wasn't only the coaches talking, it was the guys, and we were really looking at each other and saying, you know, Let's not, we got up six, we got up 10, you know, and then sometimes we'll slip back, but we, we didn't want to do that tonight at all. And we want to continue to not do that. So I think it was really, came from within ourselves, you know, uh, that sparked this, so. I know you guys obviously had some time off, but what do you feel like changed since the last game you played and tonight you almost look, you know, night and day out there? I mean, I think it's just our intensity level. Um, we realize that, you know, we hit the midway point. Um, the games matter, this is conference play. Everyone starts out 0-0. Zero, zero. Um, so I think that for that, I mean, we just bumped up intensity in practice. Just that in mind, knowing that everyone's 0-0 zero, zero right now, we got to um, come out and play hard and show everyone in the conference that, that we're here and we're ready to play. So I think just conference starting is our, you know, leeway to begin with that. Was there something said at halftime that maybe made a deep in, difference in the defensive end at all? Uh, it seemed like you really kind of re came at this. To I mean, not really. Um, I, I just know, I mean, we gave up 40 points at half, which is way too much. Um, but I still felt like we were playing good defense. It was more of the offensive rebounds. So, you know, they had nine offensive rebounds, I believe, in the first half. Uh, a lot of second chance points for them. So we really did a good job. I think we, they only had two in the second half. So that was a big <laughs> emphasis for us, was just to block out and get on the rebounds. Hunter, I know you've started games before, but you first started in a while. Did you know you were starting? Did you find out today you were starting? Did you kind of know, or what were your thoughts on that? Mm -hmm. I mean, at practice, we're always switching in and out with the with the starters. So, I, I mean, to me, I I'll never know. I mean, before the game, he'll, he'll, he'll he tells us the starters, and I just work hard, do what I can, and if I get to start, I get to start. Just go and give these guys everything I have. Mm -hmm. um, Which and he does. I just, to me, I mean, the start doesn't matter. It's just what I can give to them and help the team. So. I guess for Hayden or Cody, what would an honor give you? I know you. You trust him just like all the other team, all your other teammates, but he seemed like he gave you a, a pretty good jump tonight. It gets a big spark. Yeah, definitely. Um, he was on the glass a lot, you know. Uh, and he had six points, six rebounds, and that's coach is always telling us, uh, help rebound, help us, help the bigs rebound, you know. And he was doing that, fighting in there. A lot of them weren't easy rebounds either. Um, and I think he just shows up every day at practice, willing to work hard and do it, do what he's asked. So. For Cody or Hunter, I think 36 at HD had tonight his fourth most ever in this building. Are you guys surprised anymore when he goes off like that? Or <laughs> no, I mean he's over the summer when I first came here. He was the first guy I saw working in the gym, and he's he's one of the hardest workers I know. So this this kind of stuff can happen any given night. He's he's a very hardworking person, and to me it doesn't surprise me when nights like this happen. Yeah, I know Coach Edward was saying kind of wanted he wanted to get back to playing Wyoming brand of basketball. Is that you feel like you guys kind of got back to that tonight in this game? I think so. I mean, some guys would say, you know, we made shots. But um, I think that those shots were on our terms. Um, okay. Moving the ball, getting open ones, getting good looks, attacking the basket, stuff like that. And that was kind of cowboy basketball for us. Do you feel like you had that edge maybe that was missed in the last three, four games? Uh, you know, maybe a little bit. Uh, I just know that, you know, that edge on the defensive end mainly. Um, you know, our offense didn't struggle as much, but the defensive end, we really have been trying to step up just to, you know, play harder on that end so then it can feel our offense anyway. So I think that was the biggest change. I know both sides had a technical tonight. Is it always kind of an extra intensive, uh, intensity level when you get into conference play like this? Definitely. Um, it, the funnest games of the year, you know, because uh, you know the guys we've been playing, those guys, Trey Cow and Pope, you know, for three some guys four years now, you know, so yeah. it, it's it's fun. You see them year in and year out, and so it's 
it's really competitive out there. It's just, I can't describe it, it's just really fun, so. Now you guys, you know, start conference play, but now have a week until another game, so is that good or bad? I know you guys always probably want to play, but is it good to, you know, have a week off before you go on the road for the first time in conference play, or any, any early thoughts on that? I think it's good, uh, mainly for practice purposes. Um, you know, once we came, we all had a few days off there for Christmas break, right before Christmas and stuff. Um, then we had a couple great practices, so I think it's just good for us to get in the gym and start practicing um, to get ready for our next opponent um, and play hard. Hunter being a freshman, did it feel any different out there tonight, first conference game? Mm -hmm. Like HD said, it's fun. It's bigger intensity, especially the fans. And I mean, to me, it'll always be a game, and you just got to go out and play the hardest you can. So yeah, our fans were great tonight. So yeah. shout out to them. Yeah.